welcome back students and this is your continuing class english grammar class students of class 5 and today we are practicing the chapter uh, number 2 the sentence okay so get ready in the last class uh, we uh, practiced question number d and question number e okay uh, today we will practice today we will proceed to the next one i mean uh, question number f okay come put in full stops where necessary circle the letters that should be capital that means we um, put in full stops where it is necessary and the letters and we will we will circle the letters that should be capital okay let's read the sentence Mr. Prashad was the head of a service organ of a service organization. Full stop. Okay. Now, one day here O. O should be circled. Why? Because after full stop the sentence starts with a capital letter. One day he had a lot of work to do. Full stop. Now, there, there were here their t t should be circled because it in the sentence starts with a capital letter there were some mistakes in the accounts also this had upset accounts also this had upset him full stop now he sat h capital letter so circle he sat at his table in an angry mood and did his work first stop now just then capital letter j so circle just then a visitor entered the room full stop he gently called he capital letter so circle mr prashad mr prashad mr prashad full stop he gently called mr prashad Mr. Prashad paid no attention to him. Full stop. Now the sentence starts. So circle T. The visitor, the T circle. Okay. The visitor again tried to say something. Full stop. Mr. Prashad gave him an angry look and kept on working. Full stop. Working. Full stop. Now sentence starts. The T capital circle. The visitor quietly walked out of his office, of his office, full stop. Now, he had, he circle, because capital letter, sentence starts, he had read about the work being done by Mr. Prasad and liked it, full stop. Full stop, he wanted, he circle, capital letter, he wanted to present him a check for 1 lakh rupees, full stop. Mr. Prasad had lost a great opportunity. Full stop. That means in this uh, question, we should mention where it is full stop and we will circle where it should be capital letter. Done. Now, uh, number G. Number G is about the kinds of sentences. Different types of sentences are uh, here the first one is assertive or declarative sentence what is called a declarative sentence now sentence that says or states something is called an assertive or declarative a sentence that says or states something is called an assertive or declarative sentences that means um, uh, for example I go to school every day. This is a statement. Okay. This is. So this is an assertive or a declarative sentence. Now come to the interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence. It is easy to identify an interrogative sentence. Why? Because after the sentence there should be a question mark. That means it is the sign of, in, of an interrogative sentence. Okay. Now, a sentence that asks a question is called a question or interrogative sentence. A sentence that asks a question. For example, what is your name? Where do you live? Okay. 
after the sentence there should be a question mark so that is the identity of an interrogative sentence now come to imperative sentence imperative is a sentence that expresses a command a request or an advice is called an imperative sentence imperative sentence um, imperative sentence expresses a command or request or an advice for example um, open the door okay so this is a command or uh, don't go there that is an advice isn't it or you can say that is a uh, command also request please don't go that is a request so these are the examples of imperative sentence now come to the exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence it is also easy to identify why because at the end of the sentence there is there should be an exclamation mark okay a sentence that expresses a strong feeling a sentence that expresses a strong feeling that is uh, exclamatory sentence we always put an exclamation mark after after an exclamation sentence okay Excl 